Ha ha! Yo, yo, what's up? Yo, what's up? It's Kyle Guy Camera, and today I want to share with you guys something really cool. This is a transition that I don't see anyone else doing. It's super simple, it's super straightforward, and if you look online, you'll see on social media, in videos, content creators are all doing you know similar types of transition and effects, and that's cool. And it's just this game of like you know cat and mouse. Who can do something original? Who can do something that is uh, you know unique? And how how do you make yourself stand out from the crowd? Well, this is a perfect transition for you because. Not many people are using it, at least not yet. Maybe after this video that will change, but I wanted to give you guys something that you can use in your videos right now. And it's, it's called the match transition. And this is actually something that you can see in TV, you can see in movies, and it's really, really straightforward. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do it. So let's check it out. We're in Premiere. We've, uh, we've started to put together our edit. And um, this is what it looks like when it's finished, right? So it will go. Cool. So how do we uh, recreate this? Well, let's go, um, let's just do file, new sequence. Um, and we're gonna pull these clips over. So, we get rid of these last two ones, we'll get rid of the sound design. We'll, we'll work backwards now. Okay, so let's go grab these files. They're gonna be in here. Cool. Okay, so I got this file and I got this file. So all I'm gonna do is fast forward towards the end where I actually do the jumping right there. All right, cool. I'm going to cut that, move that back over there. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to find the same thing in the original clip. Okay. I jumped twice. Let's go right there. That's what I need. So all I did when I shot this is I just made sure to frame up um, how it looks. Like, so I'm the same distance away from the camera um, in both the shots. That's all that really matters. And, and in addition to doing the jump the same way. So if I move my arms in the same way, move my legs in the same way, do the same type of motion, then it's gonna match up really, really easily. So um, all I do is, because of the way the music is, like, there's that build up, right? So that's kind of where I want it to hit. Right there. Um, and what I actually did is if we look at the sound, uh, I, um, I put a low pass on the sound and then I keyframed it so that the low pass starts to come off, off like or it goes away, the low pass goes away as the beat comes in. Look right here. Right, so it's going full, full volume at that, uh, at this point right here. Okay, so I wanna match that up with how I do things in, um, with this clip. So I want the transition to be when it hits. So. Right there is where I want the transition to be. Now you want the transition to be at a point of impact. So when my, either when I'm in the air or like when my feet hit the ground, I like having it when my feet hit the ground. I feel like it, it's a little bit more dramatic for lack of a better word. So the way that we're going to achieve this is we're going to actually uh, speed ramp this. So we're going to uh, right click on the bottom file and we're going to go to time remapping speed and then we're going to uh, make a keyframe. 
to about the point right before where I land. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, um, it's going to be after, I'm going to go higher about 750, and then I'm going to bring this back so that it kind of speeds up as I'm doing it. So it didn't match up there, so I'm going to give that some more time. That's pretty close. That's pretty dang close. So we're going to move that top clip in. We're going to find that spot. Okay, cool. So I'm coming down right there. That's all we need. I'm going to match this up. All right, so if you notice, as I'm doing this, it's going to seem a little disjointed, and that's because they're not at the same speed. So what I need to do is I need to speed ramp uh, this clip as well. So I'm going to grab that. I'm going to make it a little bit smoother. Check it out. Just see how it looks. All right, it's still a little off. A way that we can check to see how much it's off is by changing the opacity on the top layer. So if I look, it's a l we can match that up a little better just by moving that. a little bit like that and we're gonna have to make it a little bit bigger. perfect okay so now let's take that opacity back up okay so now we got a pretty smooth transition right there and the way that we actually bring this to life is by adding some sound design so if I go to my finder and I'm just gonna grabbed like a random whoosh sound, right? That sounds pretty good. Boom, that's it. That's all it takes. It's pretty straightforward. It's easy and you guys can start using this in your videos right now. I always encourage everyone, do something original. Be original, create something that matters and don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a big thumbs up if you like it and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about these types of tutorials. All right, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.